Hey guys, I'm super excited. I got my cabinets done and we're gonna take a look around. I'm gonna show you what I did. So I'll start at the front of the kitchen and where the bar is. And I got some before photos and a video which I showed you guys. And but so we put on the stainless steel door handles and this is the front part of the bar. So we did the black underneath. It looks really good. And then we got the stainless steel uh, hinges there so we weren't too concerned about the counter we knew if we got spots on it it wasn't a big deal and also for the walls like we didn't intentionally try but we weren't like really concerned because there's still a ton of things that we need to do in here and this floor is getting ripped out next this is the whole dining room living room and hallway flooring so that we didn't matter because that's being taken out so let's make our way around in this fridge oh i love the fridge but so here are the cabinets that are above the refrigerator and I, I'm kind of short so it's hard to pull on it <laughs> but I got everything cleaned out now I bought this when I was the house when I was 20 years old so obviously things hadn't been updated since so that's like a decade because I'm over a decade I'm like 31 now so <laughs> there were liners in all of these almost all of them the majority of them and they were nasty and ripping them out in itself was just a project and then scrubbing inside of your cabinets well my cabinets was really quite the pain in the ass so I'm glad that I got, I got it done so moving on, we have all of our bottom spaces. That's where our dishwasher goes. We haven't uh, got one yet. Still looking around, want the best deal, want the best one we can find for the best price. So yeah, we're looking around still. We did get this at Lowe's for a super good deal. It's a convection oven. Have not used this, not even once yet because of the updates in the kitchen. So we've been waiting. I'm pretty excited because I get to use it actually tonight. But yeah, so, and then as I was going through my kitchen, realizing in my past, shit, I've been cooking for a long time. I don't really need too much to make any meal happen. If you, you know, some good bowls, you know, the right cleaning utensils and you're like good to go. You know, and it's just, you know, things don't need to be cluttered or all messed up. But I am excited because we still have the counters left to do. And we're replacing this. We bought a new one online. We want a hood that's stainless steel that will match. And then we're painting the walls white. We still don't know what we're doing about this. Like, I have, I forget what this is even called. But it's like a light box of some kind. <laughs> But, okay, so the house was built in the 70s. I think these were popular in, like, the like late 80s, early 90s, if I remember, like, what I read correctly. So we got to figure out what we're doing with this. It still needs to be done. I don't know. A little lost on that one. But we'll figure it out. All right, and this is where the sink is. We're also redoing the sink. So we're going to have a new sink in here as well. And I did do around the window. Now all the trim and the back one and all of our like cabinetry like throughout like the dining room, living room like area will be done in black too to make it match in here. And these are the cabinets that are above the bar. Everything looks really, really good. It turned out really nice. There are some spots on here I'm not like super excited about um some of the product it was super hard but also that's my fault at the end part there's an end coat that you put on top of all of this and it says to do it in really cool weather and the conditions here were super super hot and you're not supposed to use a fan so it, it got really difficult so there are some spots that i'm gonna have to like go over eric did redo the floor in here it looks super awesome I'm super excited about it. It looked horrible, and I'm sure he'll show you before and after pictures because it was really, really bad, you guys. Like, it was really bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, the people that did this house did a really... Like, it's a fixer-upper. Like, I knew that when I bought it. Like, everything about this house, every room was 
not it needed extreme fixing in a very big way and I was young and dumb when I bought the house and on top of that I had at the time I was pregnant and my daughter she was I just wanted to buy a house because my daughter was severely disabled and I just wanted everything to be stable for her and but this was a project house and I just didn't understand at the time the severity of how much work that needs to be done to it and uh, there's so many things that are just outdated and uh yeah and <laughs> sorry rambling on too much about things that you know probably don't mean anything or whatever but so I am super excited we did use like the rustoleum product you can find at Home Depot Lowe's online you know and uh, we ended up spending about $200 on just the handles and the hinges alone on the paint and everything it was about because we bought two of the Rust-Oleum now in the Rust-Oleum boxes you get everything that you need and you can choose your colors of what you want etc so we ended up spend, uh, spending about like $150 for the paint and I put in about a week of labor into cleaning inside, outside, pulling out everything, stripping the cabinets clean, and everything. So, uh, all in all, um, I think we did a really good job. Maybe about three fifty on just the cabinetry and the hinges and everything. You know, but that's not so bad. About three hundred fifty dollars. Um. Yeah, that's not bad at all. So, yeah, I just wanted to show around. I got some good pictures. There's still so much to be done. And we're going to keep you updated and show you everything that we do along the way. Because we're going room, we're doing everything. Every single room from top to bottom to middle. So, I'm excited to show you. My kids are loving it. And I'm loving doing it for everybody. And I'm also getting to enjoy it. So, there is a downside to this Eric when he redid the floor which it it's I don't know I don't get it I'm sure he'll understand it but it's like barely 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 it now it doesn't fit it's like such a like a thin hair and we don't want to scrape and ruin the fridge and we don't want to scrape and ruin this so it's a problem and we just got this French store stainless steel refrigerator, spent a lot of money on it. So now I'm a little <laughs> upset because we're going to have to end up selling it and then getting a smaller one. All due to like three quarters of an inch off the floor. It's anyways, that's a whole nother story, but I'll keep you updated. I hope that you like the new look. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And yeah, we're just going to keep moving on and keep making things happen.